It's a tough quarter for everyone. CapEx cuts front and center. Where are you cutting? Well, Alex, first of all, uh, I'd just like to say our thoughts remain with the, the victims of COVID-19 and, uh, and also uh, with all the workers out there on the front line in the health industry and in our company and many others that are keeping the basic uh, goods and services moving that, uh, that everybody relies on. Uh, our first quarter was, uh, was a solid uh, quarter, uh, and, uh, and I think the results reflect that. Second quarter certainly is, is a little bit tougher. Uh, we're in a different position than, uh, than some of the others in our industry. We were prepared to execute. Our financial priorities are unchanged, and the dividend is, uh, is secure. Uh, we know what to do, and, and we're doing it. And that includes making prudent adjustments to our capital spending, our operating expense, and, uh, and the things necessary in an environment where demand has contracted prices reflect that. And, uh, and we intend to uh, continue to make the right moves as we go through this very challenging uh, quarter that we're in. So where are you cutting? Uh, it's in our uh, flexible short cycle activity. So that would include unconventionals here in uh, the United States and, and elsewhere in our portfolio. Uh, we've got some other projects where we can slow down activity and focus on critical path uh, and uh, reduce spend on some things that are not on the critical path. So uh, there, there are reductions uh, across our portfolio, but the, the primary area would be in the, in the shale and tide, including in the Permian Basin. So can you give me some vis visibility then on uh, how quickly you'll reduce uh, rigs and production there and then what that does to your underlying production base? Sure. We, uh, we began the year with uh, 17 rigs running in the Permian. Uh, we're down to five right now. And, wow. uh, and so uh, production uh, tends to lag rig activity. And so uh, what we're seeing is production actually reflects wells that came on in the last half of uh, 2019, the first quarter of this year. And uh, as you know, these wells have strong early production. So our production actually uh, is a little uh, disconnected from the, the rig decline. Production at this point still is, uh, is on an upward trend. What we've indicated is over the course of this year, we would expect to exit the year at about the level that we entered. So we'll see production higher than that uh, through the, the middle part of the year, but we'll end the year uh, about flat with how we entered and, uh, and on a downward, downward slope with this level of activity. Right, I was going to say, so does that mean that we can expect then lower Permian production in 2021? It seems like that's what you're saying is you're going to really feel the effects of this CapEx cut? I, I, th I think you could expect that. And, and certainly the other thing that we will be talking to uh, investors about today is the fact that there will be uh, other reductions in uh, production, flowing production. So not just impacts of, uh, of our capital changes, but certainly in this market, uh, we've got, uh, we operate in some countries that are subject to the OPEC agreement. And so there are likely to be some production uh, curtailments there. And then for logistics and economic reasons in other parts of our portfolio, we're also likely to, uh, to curtail production. So we'll see uh, production uh, here in, in the month of May down probably 200 to 300,000 barrels of oil equivalent per day. And June, same range or perhaps even a little bit greater than that.